And then the next thing we want to do is figure out how to submit that file in Canvas. So I showed you how to make A1. Now I'm going to show you the process for submitting that file in Canvas because there is a procedure that I want you to follow that makes it easy for me to grade your work in Canvas. So in Canvas, we're going to submit this, but the first thing I want to do is put this file or put a copy of this file somewhere that it's easy to find uh, because this is probably this may be buried on my hard disk somewhere. Now, if your project folder is on your desktop, you may not need to do this if it's easy to find. But a lot of times your project folder is not on your desktop. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to right click on that a1.py file and I'm going to open it in Finder. If you're on Windows, that's open in Explorer. And there's that file on my hard disk. I'm going to copy it and paste it. I'm not going to drag it to the desktop because if I drag it to the desktop, it's going to disappear from my list over here because I moved it from a different folder. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to copy that file. I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to paste it. Okay, so it's right there now on my desktop and it's still in the previous place. So now if I go to Canvas and if I go to student view, so you can see what a, so I can show what a student would have. I already submitted this once, but if I want to do a, to resubmit it, I would go new attempt, scroll down, find that file, click open, and I can type some comments and I can submit that assignment. And if all goes well, I get the little confetti and it says submitted, it has a time and date stamp and uh, there's the file that I submitted. So what that looks like on my end, just so you can sort of see what I see there when you do that, is if I go to grades and I scroll all the way down here to that one, what I see when I go to grade that file might take a minute because our network's slow, but typically your code will appear right here and I can give that grade and I can leave you feedback. Okay, so that's a, that's what I see. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, two things. Um, if I just viewed it as the original uh, name, like what popped up when I first opened it, named out uh, pi, is that still a pi file? Um, like I would screen? create. It is if it's if I mean it is a Python file, but I I would like you for organization purposes to use a one, a two, a three to so create a new a1.py file. Um, that way you're staying organized and you have easy access to each of your assignments as you go through the class because you will reuse parts of your code. There are assignments where, where I'll say, go back, take your code from this previous assignment and enhance it in this certain way. So that is how you submit a file on Canvas. And... Uh, Again, here's your uh, your QR code to take roll if you missed that the first time. Also, you can you can log in in Canvas. Um, that's all I have for today. You are welcome to hang out for a little bit. We've got 20 minutes left in class. If you want to work on A1 right now, that's great. You can submit that right here and walk out of class uh, already knowing you've survived the first the first uh, assignment. 